and welcome back. In our last episode, we created a database migration and added a price column to our purchases table. And now we're going to actually build that in so it shows up here on the site and actually is formatted properly. So the very first thing that we're going to do is come into the application and go into the controller. So we'll go app, controller, invoices, because we have it nested, and purchases. Now in purchases, one of the things that we have to do is come all the way down the bottom and Rails 4 has something that's new to the framework and it's called strong parameters. And what strong parameters mean is that we actually have to pass any parameters that get sent through the form through this strong parameter filter essentially. And so what it does is it it's a security measure and it means that nobody is allowed to pass any kind of form data in except what we permit right here. So currently we have name, category, quantity, and invoice ID. So all we have to do is add price and now that's going to let us enter that data into the form and it'll get filtered through the controller like it should be. So we've added that. Now we go into our views and so come down to views and then go to invoices and then purchases. Now the first thing to do is go into our form and we just need to add price. So copy all this because it's pretty much going to be the same. Hit paste change quantity to price and quantity to price. Hit save, we can get out of that. And now we have to go into our invoices show view because this is where those purchases actually show up. So come down and now we have name, category, quantity. Let's add price. And hopefully as you're doing this, you can see how easy it is to add things when you build it properly in the beginning. Uh, you know, you can add different field values, you can perform calculations, a lot of different things, and it makes it so much easier when you do it the right way from the beginning. So that's what we're doing right now. Okay, and this last one is going to be price. Hit save. And now, if we come back, hit refresh, now price is added. And if I click on add new item and say my product category is product quantity two. Now I can add price. So for price, I can say $49.99. Hit create purchase. Oh, and there's a reason why that happened. Come back here, go to form. And if you can see right here, it actually is listed as a number field. And so it's going to block some decimal values. And so to fix that, uh, I'm just going to call it a text field. Hit save, come back, hit refresh, and type in the same values. Okay, and you can see that actually allows it now. So hit create purchase, and there you go. And you can see right here that we now have a price. And one thing though that I like to do for financial data, and I think it's a really neat built-in thing to Rails, is if you come back here, go back to the show view, there's a built-in method here called number two, currency and put that as a function. So number to currency is the method or the function and then purchase.price is the parameter we're passing to it. So if I hit save, come back here, hit refresh, and you can see it put a money sign on it and uh, say that this had been um, I wouldn't have put 99. Like, let me actually show you what it'll do. So, I do my favorite product and um, favorites, quantity one, and let's do a price point of $100. But let's not type any decimals in and see what happens. Hit create purchase, and look at that. So, by calling on the number to currency built in method, 
it takes any number that we pass in here and it actually translates it it puts a money sign in front of it adds a decimal even if we didn't put it in and then adds two digits because it knows that these are dollars and these are cents now if you put in like what we did before where we put in 49 and 99 cents it recognizes that that's already in the correct value and so all it does is add the money sign on front of it so it's something anytime i'm dealing with financial data uh, it's a really neat built-in tool that saves literally uh, I, I don't know five to ten lines of code if you were to try to do this and uh, you know some of the other languages out there like Java or some of those so it's really neat I like how that's built in but uh, yeah so you now know how to add in this price value and add in the data that we took in from the migration add that to the view and then also add it to the form data and use uh, strong parameters and now you now know how to use the number to currency built-in method so good job and uh, in we're getting close to some of our last episodes for this series and next one we're going to do is actually taking the quantity multiplying it by the price and generating a total so you'll learn how to do calculations and make this into a real invoice so uh, great job and I will see you in the next video